So good morning everybody. How are you going? It's, a, it's been a long time since Cheyenne and I ever cooked some breakfast. So this morning I cooking some breakfast and this morning I want to make one of my grandmother's favorite food and also she last, well one of she last me before she died. Right? And today on the menu we're gonna make some fried cabbage with alu. Well fried alu and cabbage. Also we're gonna make some bacon. We also going and fry some chicken and Cheyenne going and make some ashi fruits, right? So again everybody, good morning and let me get started, right? So we add a little onion to the pot. Right now as I say, good. I will say that this was one of the, the last food my grandmother did eat before she died. Right, this was she, I think this was she breakfast she did make. That was my um, family chalma. So I'm not sure, but I will say the last food she ate was um, fried cabbage and fried onion. So I'm gonna make it. This is the way she does make shion. Shion a little kind of a little different than everybody else own, but I want to share it with all you. Hopefully you enjoy the meal. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Right, so we add a little onion, a little garlic. Well, everything's flying so this morning, man. Eh? Right, so hope you enjoy. <laughs> What's going on there, boy? Garlic, I want to go in pot. Nah, tell her my grandmother must be um say you're cooking more food, boy. Oh, <laughs> everything's flying out now. Yeah, so she's gonna make this every. Well, actually, she used to make this every week because she mother used to make this for she when she was growing up. So this is one of her favorite. So I want to share it with you today again. As I say, okay. Make it a little thinner. All right. So we add onion, garlic, tomatoes. Um, sorry, we now add any tomatoes. All right. I did soak my tomatoes about an hour now. Right, just to get the juice because we won't be adding well we won't be adding no water to this pot for this one right a little more garlic right as i was saying yeah this is one of her favorite food um she used to make this at least i think it's twice a week she used to make this i don't know why i don't really have fun of cabbage so much like she I like fry alu, I can eat fry alu whole week. I show, I show a lot of people can eat fry alu nearly every day. But what do you show? You can eat fry alu every day? Yeah, once it's brown and crispy. Yeah, well I can eat fry alu anyhow. If it's crispy or it's, um, it's brown or if it's um, like the water one, like what I just made, that one, I can eat it with, I can eat alu with anything, you know, actually, you know, um, like stew chicken, curry chicken, anything, you know, I can eat alu with and I really like alu. But she really like cabbage, so. And she's gonna make a lot of food with cabbage as the show go along and the, the um, channel go along as we go along. I'm gonna bring out some actually cabbage meal because she really like cabbage. They, she used to plant cabbage actually. So that's why she like um like so much of cabbage, right? So come in here to them. And that's why they make make all the tomato and then kind of bella juice. How long we make breakfast, Shaya? Yeah. Most of the time we just be eating bread or crisps and tea. So we make a little breakfast this morning as we go, man. Yeah. Alright, so I'll just grooving in here. All the flavors inside here. Alright, we're going to add the alu. This was soaking as well for about an hour, two hours. Make sure you heat on slow heat as well. Right, you will have to take your time and fry. As I say, she does cook she own a little bit different than how I think everybody does cook their own. But I want to share it, so you know, I see the difference. Right now, this pepper here that we have here, this is actually. Um, my first pepper tree upstairs. Um, uh, I think this is seven pot, eh? Yeah, seven pot tree. Eh? Yeah, seven pot tree. 
This is actually one of the first pepper we get from the tree. So as we make it hot, or it's not hot, so we're going to add it in, right? I'm not adding in the whole thing, we're just adding in half. Because as I say, I'm not, I'm not sure. But we actually have, we have some more on top of the counter here, yeah, but this is what we picked some from this morning from the tree, right? So we will add in half. We will see how it, how it smells and then we're going to. Hmm? Yeah, it's smelling real hot. So this is going to be real hot. So me add in a whole one, right? Right, they give it a little turn. Now she, I'm going to teach you something here. My grandmother used to add a little bit of saffron powder in she um, cabbage and almond. I don't know, this is fried, this is not saffron. It is fried, but she used to add some and she used to say this bring out the flavor in the food. So I'm going to do the same thing as she, right? They want to see a little pot spoon and, and tower and all kind of thing falling down. You know, she must be close by, right? So. You know the thing is, right? So you just add a little bit of the saffron. She does add saffron, so I just add in some, right? So she fry all one. Um, um, with this cabbage. Do you go see how it tastes, right, Shia? Yeah. I know it looks like it would taste good. Yeah, just the taste good, man. Yeah. Right, so. And we'll add the, um, the seasoning, I think, one time. As we here. Right, so we add in a little bit of um, petzen. Okay, you know, I'll put for the cabbage too as well. We add a little cook up seasoning. Okay, we add in a, a little dust of black pepper. And we add in some salt. Okay, give my turn up. Uh, looking nice with the, the, the saffron, eh? Yeah. But this is the way she used to make it, eh? I don't know. But she say how um it just tastes better. And just bring out a nice color too. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. Smelling good too, eh? Mm-hmm. Right, so let me get the, we just go and um come to me. So we just go and cover this here and we're gonna just cook on slow heat until the aloo um cook down a little bit and then we're going to add the cabbage into that, right? So, and then from there on, we're going over to the next pot now and we're going on fry. We're going to make some tomato bacon, right? Fry tomato and bacon. So, I will see you later in a little bit. Just go and cover this and I will see you later a few a minute time or two minutes time. And we will join me on the next pot, right? So, again, everybody, welcome to the channel. Trini Lyman with David and Cheyenne. Um, subscribe if you follow one. Or like it, um, or like it tell me how the food look, how, if you feel it is good. And uh, yeah, that's it then. Yeah. Again, everybody, to all the new subscribers, welcome to the channel. To the old regular ones who always on the channel from day one with us. Thank you very much and hopefully you enjoy the show. We will see you later in a little bit. Bye for now. So welcome back everybody. And we're going on fry each of the tomato bacon, all right? So we're going to um, add it on for you one thing. We're gonna train the bacon. Um, this is the deli shaved bacon. Alright, we're gonna add this and we're gonna fry it. Put this on the chair. Let's fry up a little bit of the oil till I get a little light brown or a little dark brown, and uh, then we'll come back. I just want to show you what I was putting in inside the pot. Um, let it fry a little bit, and then you'll come back and we will show you what we're going to do next, right? So, again, welcome to the channel, and we will see you all there in a little bit. Welcome back everybody and you see the bacon fry here a little bit nice and brown right so the first thing first we're going to add in is the tomatoes 
Right, that's so good tomatoes as well for about an hour. Due to the fact that it's what you water in the tomatoes, right? Now this is this menu here. It's that kind of hot attack menu because it's plenty oil, but it is tastes real good, right? So everyone they could try it. Right, we add in the next half of the pot. Let's go make this sauce for the bacon for the fry one. Okay, we add some onion now. I like to cut up most of my thing over my pot. I don't like to cut up and have it weakened. That is Cheyenne style, and Cheyenne? Yeah. <laughs> my style is cut over the pot one time immediately, fast as you cook it. Cheyenne has had that time and that patience to sit down and cut up and thing, not me. <laughs> I different. I like to cut one time fast as I cook it. So that in most of my videos, you always see me cutting. And most of Cheyenne videos, you always see she have it prepped. Now I say everybody just have a different way of cooking. Right, it's just my way of cooking. I like it this way. I grew up doing it this way. You know, you, cook, you cut up everything right over the pot. So you don't miss anything. Or you don't forget anything. That's just the way I grew up. Right? I mean, everybody's different. They have a different way of growing up. You know, they do the thing that their way. I do my thing my way. And I like to cut over over my pot like how I cut it up here right now. For me, I find it to be more enjoyable. And yeah, I cut it up and then wait and then, you know, I gain everything in the pot. Fast as things cooking. So for me, that is a better option. For Cheyenne, the friend then. Yeah. Do you like your way? Yeah. People cut up everything. Just a throw in pot and cook one time. Yeah, I like to take my time and cut up my thing over my pot. Okay, well, let's do a quick taste test because I don't have this bacon and salt, right? Yeah. Can we just see how it's going? Yeah, let's have salt. So we haven't put no salt on the mess, right? Like a salt you have the food. Okay, make sure the pepper goes in there nice and tight. Add a little water. I used to cook up the tomatoes. And you want the ham. This is actually ham, eh? Ham. Yeah, you're looking like ham, eh? Yeah, it's like ham. Yeah, nice ham. Yeah. Right, so let me go to the ham. The fry out. Hmm? Let me check out the fry out. going as I have one. Okay, let's stick it. That's my own good. That's not real nice. Okay, so the aloo mash enough already? Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to add the um the cabbage. Alright, we have some fresh cabbage here. Let's yeah, say so we buy this. Okay, try This is fry, yeah, this is not curry or saffron eh? it's just she used to put a little saffron and she and she um and she um food and this food right so please don't say it is curry or saffron right it is fry yeah she used to do it this way. right but this is real good I guarantee that Nice the color change. Yeah. That's why she used to put the saffron because she wanted your food to be looking, you know, maybe looking nice, tasting nice. Let me just taste this, this sauce and taste it. Eh? Mm. Yeah. I'm nothing. Right, so make sure it's on slow heat and let us let us set the cook down. Right, so now this um this bacon recipe, when I used to work in Sawa, I used to work in a grocery in Sawa, Shoppers, I don't know if you know it, who from Sawa. I know I worked there for about 13, 14 years, right? Since I was a little boy, I worked there. Till I become a big man, married, all of them things, right? And it have a food place opposite Am. Um, the fella name is Patrick. 
So who from Sawa know Patrick and Sawa? Yeah, and well he daughter and I went to school. So I used to go right opposite the grocery now. And I used to go across and buy this bacon with them fried bacon bacon with the tomatoes. And they asked me, I said, oh let us cook that boy. I think this tastes real good. And um, a day when I be fast at work, I went to back to the kitchen and they teach me the recipe. So that's how I know this recipe. You know, you can try this recipe. It just tastes real good. Yeah. You know a lot of people? Yes, boy. Yeah. You know a lot of people? You want to take them a look? They come on the camera. <laughs> you want to come? Yeah, as I was saying, you know a lot of people let's just fry the bacon alone. Some just fry it with eggs, right? Now you must try this recipe with the bacon and the tomatoes. It does taste real good. You need to try it because this is the recipe how them used to do it. And I guarantee with fried bacon and this, or salad roti and this, trust me, you're not going to be you're not going to be way off. You're going to be in heaven with this recipe, right? You can udo eat pork, you can use the beef and try the same process. This is real good, right? So we have the bacon cooking, we have the cabbage and the aloo cooking. Um, what I said, let them cook for about 10-15 minutes. Let you take your time and cook on slow heat, both of them on slow heat. Let you take your time and cook and when we come back, we will just check the pot and see what we're doing, right? And everybody welcome again to the channel. This is your boy Sammy here. Yes, boy. You're a big boy, you know it? Yes. He's starting to eat food now. Um, like aloo and barge and things. So as I say, certain food we will not be cooking with pepper anymore due to the fact that he's starting to eat. Right, so you want to see some of our food we get already heads up on the channel and all the don't see any pepper, we wouldn't add in pepper due to the fact that he's starting to eat some food now, eh? And boy, when you eat some crisps, and you like crisps and tea? Yes! And you like crisps and tea? Yes! Right, so we will see you all in a little bit. Thanks for watching and join me back in a little while. So when you two pot almost done, yeah, eh? Mm -hmm. And we will come back and shine so that they make she floats. We have fried chicken and we have she saffron and ginger tea coming up next. So keep watching, we will see you later. Say bye. 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 Alright, we want to and the bacon. Finish. Come on, she will be a shine. Alright, that's what I'll just show you how so that I'll be looking. When you see we um, finished up, right? So I'll leave a little sauce because this is also going inside the fry bake to eat, right? And this sauce is soaking inside the fry bake and give you a real nice tasty um, flavor, right? So let's finish. Um, let me do the um, cabbage. Just come the pots for me. Right. So let's just check for the cabbage. I will come on. Now you see when you soak your aloo and your cabbage in water, or just create your own water, right? So you don't need to add water. Now we have our next way to make cabbage and aloo. I will share that one in a follow-up video maybe later down the road. Right, but for this one here, we're making this one, right? Let's do our taste test and show the taste. So yes guys, I'll dry it down now. Just cooking so far for about 10 minutes, almost 12 minutes. We just let this water dry down and that should be the end of this, of this one. Right, so um, we're going to be back in about 10, about 10 minutes. It's going to take about 10 minutes. So all total, it will take 20 minutes to cook um, together with the cabbage and the aloo. And the aloo did take 10 minutes before, so it's going to take about 30 minutes in total to cook. Yes. Right, so that's it. Um, next time we come back is Cheyenne. You ready to fry bake? Yeah. All right, so Cheyenne going to fry some bake and then we're going to make the tea for that. So buy it Right. So we back and Cheyenne put out your flour on it to make you fry bake. Right. We just ship our wrong pot. Check the um fry with it. The um cabbage. That cabbage. Good boy. Yeah. See if it's sticking. It's looking like it's sticking. Yeah, this is the brown pot. Right, so you can take all the cover now and just leave it like dry down a little more. You find this morning food only flying all over? Yeah, we know. All over, you know, all over. Grandmother must be saying you're making my food, but I'm hungry. It's really looking good. She was, she was a real good cook. Yeah, this is how she doesn't make it. She never makes it, they're not like dry. 
Use the soap sheet thing and make sure it come out. So get a little sauce to dip now. Well, remember me add no water. This is just the water from the aloe uh, and the yarn. Uh, yeah, she was living in where I put my shit every day. Huh? If she was living, I would not cook. I would go buy shit and eat it. Yeah, because she has made nice food, right? Yeah, real nice food. Yeah, well, that should be good enough. Take it off. Don't dry it on because you're going to dip for the roti. Yeah, I should take it off. Right, so we are shy, eh? We are pinky here this morning. She's making laying roti, eh? She's making she roti. Daddy, where are you? Yeah. Alright, how is it? Look, she's tasting it, Daddy. She's even telling me. Mmm. I want to eat it. Okay. I'm tasting it. First time you see now, on end. Mm -hmm. Um, it as again in the video I tell you now, it is not curry or saffron it is fry she just used to add the saffron to give it maybe that color or maybe you just bring it out yeah, piece. Piece. how it is it's in huh? it's and my grandmother used to use vetsin all-purpose seasoning and salt and normal onion garlic pepper pimento that is it that's the only seasoning she used to use the vetsin well back in the days it was only um vetsin go that make your routine huh? i don't see why she likes it it's in real good hey yeah. I need to make some bacon. So nice, look, isn't it? I'm trying to make sure. Let's see, let's see the brown pattern. Yeah, need to make cream. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. No, let's like make all the fry bake. Yeah. And you want fry bake? I'm not making no floats today. I'm making no triangle bake. Triangle bake? Yeah. All right, so she's making regular fry bake. Regular fry bake. I think it's really regular fry bake. And you know we must get with cheese and with butter to go with that. And we sweet pepper sauce. And we bake and the fry nice. Hey, you can't go there. That that hot. Yes. Put it back so. Hey, put back that so. Bake and the fry nice and brown and crispy. Huh? We bake and the fry nice and brown and crispy. Then they add in the water. Yeah. Mom, yeah, well, you know we just do it here. Hey. Yeah. You know that we do. So we just gonna fry the bake now. And try and fry the bake. I'm gonna fry some chicken to go with the side. You know, this morning this girl feeling to eat. So we, we eat in this morning because yesterday we didn't really eat. Yes, yeah, so we, we was more real work. Yeah. Right? So, so you can come here. And look how nice the fry will come out. The oil is very hot. Right, so Shang when I make she fry bake. And now let's go join she on that fry bake journey. So we go see her laying a little bit. Girl, you're playing with my heart and I don't know what to do The only thing to do, girl, is to tell you I love you Can you say? Girl, you're playing with me, girl, you're playing with me Girl, you're playing with my heart and I don't know what to do The only thing to do, girl, is tell you I love you girl, you're
Yeah. <laughs> See it? Because yes, everybody fried chicken. I yeah, that's yeah. why. Hey, so, and we are pinky. Alright, Cheyenne, saffron tea and ginger tea. We put it in this over? Saffron. Yeah, saffron yeah. Yeah. This tea, all they must make this tea real often, right? It is real helpful here. We just always tell all of that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a clean Yeah. I'm in your saffron with weight too, eh? Yeah, weight, sure cancer, yeah, um, headache and thing too as well. Well, I did Cheyenne this because. My grandmother used to make these kind of tea mm -hmm. and my mother, my father, everybody just make this kind of tea while growing up because they could not afford all like all them um, expensive tea and things. So and most of the time it used to be coffee and this. And if you're breastfeeding too, you're supposed to be drinking this about two to three times a month. You can't drink it often if you're breastfeeding. Oh. Yeah, so you see? Let's see this drink real good, eh? And I let I show they didn't see me with I I don't know. We go still show we just do it, right? Yeah. Alright, so she greets you know, this what the ginger. Ginger, no? yeah. And we just leave the skin and we own, eh? Yeah, leave the skin. Because I don't know when you're making it, you have to train it before you drink it. So don't make sure you feel all the skin and you waste that extra flavor. Alright. So she doing that eh? And then she greets you now, check out the fried chicken. You know, uh, this morning, uh, yesterday, well, yesterday, she said we had yesterday, yeah, yesterday night, but well, so much nothing happened since yesterday. yesterday. Yes. More nothing happened since yesterday today. Yeah, I see. <laughs> well, we eat, I eat, and then I get up this morning, I feel like eat this fried chicken. So I get up this morning, I take out some chicken since 2 o'clock this morning, they throw out, I season them up, and now we fry in here. Alright. So check it out. I want to make sure you see how it's looking. Alright, it's so nice that looking, eh? Alright, we're going to add in here. Cinnamon. Some cinnamon. Cinnamon stick. Yes, yeah, the cinnamon stick. Right. If you had the normal cinnamon, say nothing. You can add in that cinnamon too. Cinnamon is cinnamon, right? So she had any cinnamon, or is that one now? Um, cardamom. Cardamom. I just normally add in nutmeg to this, but I don't have any right now. So I use some cardamom. Nice cup of tea, eh? healthy. Right, so. Right, and you're gonna let this boil until the, um, the saffron, the nice and yellow. Alright. And then we'll come back. Then we'll come back here. Yeah. Alright, so there's your tea here. Alright, we're just showing you earlier, we breakfast. So, so far on the breakfast, we done make the cabbage, the fry beak, we. We just ham, um, the tomatoes, bacon. bacon. Tomatoes and bacon. Right, we done fry with bake, we done make with cheese and um, fry bacon cheese, fry bacon butter, fry bacon pepper sauce, <laughs> and the tea. Alright, so it's so much thing we just eat. Now we may not cook lunch due to the fact that we are all this. So we just, we have a lot of food. Yeah, for the whole day. Because when we eat now, we are work on things to go and do, and then by the time we don't do we work on them, we'll be back up this evening. Yeah. Alright, so. Alright, so we done when the chicken done. And the tea done, when we come back, it's time to eat. Alright, so bye for the pinky. And she eating the fried chicken. Pinky, what do you say? Yummy. You like it? Yeah. Check you, check you. Check out the fried chicken. Mmm, yummy, yummy. What do you say? How do you say? Is it nice? Yes. Yeah. Eat it. Let me see you eating your fried chicken. You like the fried chicken? Who make that? Huh? Who make the fried chicken? Daddy or mommy? I'm Daddy. Right. Tell him hello. Yeah. Show me fried chicken. Show them it. Yummy, it's a cake. You like it? Yeah. So we are pinky eating the fried chicken. Is it nice?
So we'll come back and we food done. And we're ready to show you how we food looking, right? So here we go. We have a fried cabbage and aloo. We have a um, bacon and tomatoes fry up. We have a fried chicken. And we have shy and fried bacon, right? So let me get on with it, child. You can taste it yet, eh? so you must can't wait to taste this, eh? Yeah. Right, so we have a nice soft bake. You can see how nice she bake is soft. We're opening up nice. Oh yeah, and we have a saffron tea. We saffron and ginger tea, right? So we have it in next. So let me get on there and see how it is. Let me try the yam. Cabbage and aloo. Right, when I eat cabbage and aloo, I like it enough. So when you eat it, right? So, there we go. Mmm. Very good, Penny. Mm hmm. We have pinky as well, we need to even check it. Can you try the bacon alone? Yeah. Right, just the bacon alone, we'll try it. Mmm. Mm hmm. Right? And we'll try the, uh, the fried chicken, right? So now it's the fried chicken cup. Okay? Right, so I'm going to dip some of the sauce in. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. 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 Look at that. Look at that. Right, so one more. Mm. We're going to try everything together, right? Cabbage, that's now. Chicken, eat chicken. Cabbage, chicken, and some ham. Everything here, we go long. One, two, three. Mmm. 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 Alright, so check out the food here, we're going to wash my hands. Let's try and go taste everything. You can have a taste then. Yummy chicken. Yummy chicken? Yes. But eat, eat your chicken, eat. Eat your chicken. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, it's good. Eat your different chicken. <laughs> Right. Alright, so we're going to taste this food now and let me see how David, grandmother, cabbage and aloo taste it. And we have pinky there. Tiffin chicken. Yeah, we had to cut out a little bit because pinky went for something to drink. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to be in the show. Mm. How are you tasting? Tiffin good. Tai, tai, tea. Tai, tai. Okay, tai, watch. Yeah. Tai, tai, Thumbs up, subscribe. Yes, I know you do. Mm -hmm. How do you have a season? It is it? Yes, this cabbage is in the house. But no, we win. Yeah, more, nice. more, more. Sammy, can I get that? Mm -mm. We put pepper in it. None for you. Why well, don't you chicken in the pepper? I mean, the, they don't have pepper in the chicken. Yeah, eat it one. So she's eating that. Pinky does eat pepper, but me and Una. No. When she's ready. You want pepper? No. She has one. Eat it again. Try the bacon. Try. Hey, you cannot give him that. Try him that. Um, you can't eat that. You have to eat your cricks and tea. Mm -hmm. this is good, boy. Try the fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's decent. good. I don't even want to eat. Try it and see how it's decent. It's yummy. It's yummy, yeah. Let's do it. I don't want to see why you like it. It's good. It's nice and crunchy. How the pepper is? Pepper good. Pepper nice. Nice chicken, eh? No, I don't have pepper in the chicken. I don't have pepper in the chicken. Mm -hmm. like, all I put in there is just some flour, a little bit of um, seasoning, some water, egg, and I fry that. That was it. And some black pepper. Yeah. I'm getting a gas top eating now. Mm -hmm. Pinky or chicken, they said. Mm -hmm. No, you can't get that. 
Yeah. Hey, Sasha, and Jenja, today. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a bowl with the whole fried chicken piggy eat up all of the already. You see how much you done bust down already? Daddy, this is so good. fried chicken. Daddy. How it is, Jason? Stop it now, girl. Drink it, see, drink. Did she see, see, drink it? She don't drink, she tea already. She drink Milo tea. And? Yes. Milo tea. Yeah, you drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. She don't drink tea already, honey. She don't have time at all. Right? We have to make special tea for everybody in this house. She's Milo tea. We have to make saffron tea for we. And he drink, he had to get Milo tea. Yes, Milo and Crick's for you. Fast mm -hmm. Right, well, that's the end of the video here. And this is how the food comes out here. Well, the food nearly done. Mm -hmm. Right, there's the fried bacon here. We have cheese and fried bacon inside here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Butter and fried bacon, we don't crack down that long time. Mm -hmm. Chicken, tea, them two of them there. Picky drink, she eating chicken. We have Sammy, she. And that's the end of this video here. So we're going to tell Oli, what are we going to say? Well, we're going to say Sammy. We'll see you all in the next video and we hope you enjoy David's grandmother fried cabbage. Yeah, it is real good. Thank you, tell them bye. Bye. The girl's not in nobody right now, she's studying that chicken. Bye, <laughs> bye, bye. bye. How is chicken this in? Yeah. Right. So we should have the back here, that is it? Mm-hmm. Look at this one cutting and going, watch. This isn't good, eh? Wow. Oh. Sammy can't get that, that pepper in it. So. Mm. Yes, you go eat your crepes. Yes. We will make baji for you tomorrow. Yeah. You will get baji. And you want baji, boy? Yes. All right. So we going. Thanks for watching. We will see you all in the next one. Bye. 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 Tell them bye. Bye. Tell them bye. Thumbs up.